Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop and today we got some more cool old school stuff and um, I wish this was live. Anyway, what we have today is a couple of USGI Vietnam era actually issued whistles. Okay, I got one in the pack for, um, you know, collector purposes, whatever, and then I got one um, to actually use, and uh, I'll probably end up with the Herpagonocyphoclapolitis from Vietnam uh, for putting my mouth to this, but it's okay, I'll do it for you guys. Uh, that's how much effort I put into this channel for my viewers. Uh, but you can see it's U.S. stamped, uh, GPI, which means it was, you know, produced for Vietnam in this era, uh, 1971 stamped. It's olive drab, you know, just polymer, plastic molded. Uh, you do got a little bit of a lanyard loop. Seems substantial enough, you know, for what it is. And then you got the P in there. Um, better than having poop in there, I suppose. But super cool. It, it, you know, they're like six or seven bucks. You can find these things, maybe even cheaper, maybe five bucks, whatever. And it's cool for like collectors um, to have, you know, a little piece of history, a little trinket. You know, Vietnam was a, a huge, you know, politicized and, and very, very public war, um, you know, for our country. So to have, you know... Up the same piece, the same whistle that, you know, our troops are using. And then, you know, amongst everything, you could have, you know, different different guns and different backpacks and boots and, and knives and collect all the stuff from there. And I find, I find enjoyment in that. I think it's cool. Plus, this thing, uh, I assume, is functional. So let me... Uh, let me give her a toot real quick and see see if this bad mamma jamma still works after all them years. All right. <whistles> Holy sh... That worked a lot better than I expected in a confined space that my studio is. Um, I might have just blown out my eardrums and hopefully you guys aren't wearing earbuds listening to that. But you had plenty of warning, I suppose. Um... But yeah, it's just cool. It's a functional piece. And to this day, uh, a whistle, every, oh, what are you going to do with a whistle? You know, is that your rape whistle? You know, ha, 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 it's all fun and games. But a whistle is still a very, you know, useful and I think underestimated tool in, you know, the modern Minuteman or just EDC or having something in your vehicle. Um, you can scream and yell all you want, but you're never going to carry your voice as, as high and, and as far as this can this gets people's attention and uh you know obviously tactically signaling people you know whatever um keeping bears away in the woods when you're on a hike you know you get lost in the woods you got people come find you um plus it's cool it's nostalgic and functional and i love stuff like that so you know that being said guys that's a video i just wanted to show that to you guys get you thinking um you know about stopping tooting your own horn but maybe blowing your own whistle once in a while um, because I think it's a useful, important piece of kit that a lot of people overlook. And when you can get a cool, real deal, um, you know, old school mill serp quality whistle for five to seven bucks, you'd be a fool not to, um, get online, find them, you know, any surplus store, help them out, shop with those guys. Uh, it's just cool stuff to have cool, old, useful stuff. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm not that funny, but I try to be just for you. And um, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Because all of that stuff helps out this channel immensely. Um, literally doubled my numbers in the last year. And uh, it's all due to you guys. It's all thanks to you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, please, please, please. Um, Second Amendment, super important. This should be able to be a live grenade. I should be able to own this as a law-abiding citizen uh, in the country of the United States of America. You know, which we're getting so far away that we're not even going to be able to have. This is going to be all we're ha going to have soon if uh, if people don't fight. So those first three links in the description box below, check them out. Um, if you're out of Illinois, or even if you're not, Illinois State Rifle Association, Firearm Policy Coalition, Gun Owners of America, all organizations that I thoroughly trust and uh, are, are, you know, not compromised compromising on our rights as some of the other ones are so you know your money's going to a good place i get nothing for it i get no kickback i just believe in them um if you do want to help grow the channel though and and help me get more cool stuff in for review um better studio setup whatever it is um growing the channel more importantly and getting the message out about a bunch of cool stu stuff a bunch of cool stuff dude 
I sounded like I was Swedish for a second. A bunch of cool stuff, and more importantly, the Second Amendment. Uh, shop with any of the uh, links in the description box below. There's a Patreon, uh, sh not shop, my Teespring shop, and then my Patreon page. And uh, all that stuff goes directly back into the channel. But hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, a little bit of cool, old school stuff uh, today. And you think about it, grab a whistle. You know, it sounds like, oh, that's wussy stuff, but this could save your life one day. A couple of bucks. Get a cool one, too. Something you can get enjoyment out of just owning. That being said, guys, I'm going to quit rambling. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.